And what I'm doing at the moment is I'm building our backup uh, low voltage generator built with neodymium magnets and standard coils, which is also the completion of our human powered generator project. Uh, right now, as you can see right there, those are two large neodymium magnets on either side of this nice steel shaft here. I have some uh, push bearings set into the board on either side that goes to our belt here. Uh, all the way down to a 10 inch pulley off to the uh, opposite side where the two will run for our Wimhurst. We'll actually be able to engage and disengage this uh, so we can either uh, use the Wimhurst or we can use a low voltage high amperage generator here. Alright, so all I've got here on this side is a chunk of uh, nail plate for construction. It's just making sure the two magnets aren't flopping towards each other. I'm going to go ahead and drop another one on this side here. Uh, so here's my piece. These are a little difficult to maneuver around these larger magnets. So there we go. We'll have just two plates of steel, one on either side of those. And those are opposite polarities sticking out a north and a south face. I'm going to real quickly just wrap a couple wraps of duct tape around this. That way they don't fly off of there when I spin it. Because uh, the RPMs that I'm generating, or at least the ratio, from the hand crank over here, uh, all the way over to that bar spinning is 45 to 1. Uh, so it's a pretty high ratio. It's a lot of inertial force trying to spin those magnets free. So I'm going to go ahead and just wrap a few wraps on there of duct tape. And then what we have here, just real quickly set up, is one of those nice big coils I like to wrap. It's just quickly duct taped on there. And I'll set that. If I can get down underneath here and show you, we'll rotate that magnet set up to about right there. And we should have just enough of an air gap that that shouldn't touch. And if we need a little more, so there we go, should be able to see just barely an air gap right there. Uh, so we'll be able to prop that up, screw down this board up here, kind of mount that into position. And right now, uh, what I have are two meters, or two wires hooked to the meter here, uh, up to our voltmeter. And what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna top uh, tape that up like I said and then I'm gonna go ahead and spin this and show you the kind of voltage we can create which is a single coil and 45 to 1 ratio here at the hand crank so give me just a moment all right folks you should be able to see the meter here let me turn it on uh, we are set here to 200 volt max AC voltage I'm gonna give this thing a good healthy spin and let's see how high we can get the voltage on this go let's see what we ended up getting there should have probably seen real close to 16 plus volts uh, we can give that one more real quick spin then I'll give you a shot of how fast I'm turning it on the handle here so let me do that one more time so there you go that's actually what we're producing with a hand crank. So that's just two me uh, neodymium magnets in a single coil. And you can see the magnets spinning here in the background. So let me go ahead and set up the camera and show you real quick here just how fast it's actually rotating over there. All right, you should be able to see the hand crank. I'm trying to get the meter still there. Uh, you should be able to watch the wheel right here in the shot. So there you go. You can probably see it's not turning all that fast to get that thing over here, our neodymium over there, actually just cruising. So let me zoom in just a little bit more and I'll show you some of uh, what it looks like zoomed in. So there you go. Uh, there's a nice little measurement there. I'm going to start completing the actual generator itself and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So there you go. That's our low voltage, high amperage human power generator. Uh, this same system will also be our high voltage, low amperage uh, system, the Wimhurst generator also. So it'll be a tandem system. We can run one or the other or we can actually do dual voltage experiments. Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. I'm working on the uh, low voltage DC side of our Wimhurst hand power generator here. And I showed you on the last video that we had one coil and two magnets on the rotor in there. So it'd be a little difficult to show you inside of there, but right now what I have 
is actually uh, four magnets on the rotor and it's not actually held on by duct tape. There's metal banding and everything. I just did that as a uh, rub indicator just in case. Uh, I've got four coils now mounted all the way around uh, those four magnets. As you can see here, I've got the two coils mounted on the tops and the bottom and I've got two side coils mounted here on either side. You can see the wiring coming out of the coils here all wired together. I've got my positive meter hooked up here and I've got my negative meter hooked up there. And like I showed you in the last video, the RPMs I'm actually creating inside of this machine is about 2700 RPMs. I can get it going a little faster than that, but that's about the average that I'm able to produce uh, with a uh, minimal amount of effort out at the hand crank. So what we're going to do here real quick is I'm going to set up the meter so you can actually see it down in here and watch the uh, action going on inside. I'm going to let you see the voltage that I'm actually able to create with just a simple set of uh, two belts, four pulleys, and a hand crank. Uh, so this has given us a 45 to 1 ratio, like I said in the last film. Uh, let me go ahead and set that shot up, and I'll show you what kind of voltage we're able to create. All right, folks, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch the meter on here. Uh, we are set to AC 200 volt max here on the meter, and I'm hoping that can show up pretty well. Uh, you won't be able to really see much going on inside of there, but you'll be able to hear the thing rotating. Let's go ahead and spin this and see what kind of voltage we're able to create. So here we go. So there you go, that should have been a pretty good measurement. I'm hoping there on the shot you saw somewhere close to 80 volts. Let me go ahead and give it one more rotation, see if we can't make sure that we've passed that 80 volt marker. There we go. So there's a brief demonstration of what four magnets and four coils can do at 2700 RPMs. So now that we've actually achieved uh, the RPMs I was looking for, which is, you know, pretty high RPMs for hand crank, we've also achieved a very high voltage. Uh, what I'm going to do now is incorporate a uh, crossover board or a peg board basically that'll allow me to wire these coils all into it and change over with a jumper. Uh, whether I'm in delta or star uh, wiring diagram here, which will increase the voltage like you see now or decrease the voltage and increase the amperage. Uh, I brought two diodes to do a diode uh, or an amperage test today. Both diodes ended up being bad, so we'll do that another time once this is completed. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time.